This is section 8.2, L'Hopital's Rule. We're going to start with an indeterminate form 0 over 0. If functions f of x and g of x are both 0 at x equals a, then the limit as x approaches a of f of x over g of x cannot be found by substituting in x equals a. The substitution produces 0 over 0, which is a meaningless expression known as indeterminate form. If you have a function and you plug a value into the top and the bottom, and you get 0 over 0, that does not mean undefined because we're dividing by 0. In limits, it is called an indeterminate form, which means we don't know what the answer is yet. It could be pretty much anything. Theorem 4, L'Hopital's Rule, first form. Suppose that f of a equals g of a, and both of those are equal to 0. So we plug a value in to the function and we get 0 over 0 that f prime of a and g prime of a exist and that g prime of a does not actually equal zero then the limit of f over g is equal to the derivative of the top over the derivative of the bottom in example one we have an indeterminate form zero over zero estimate the limit graphically and then use L'Hopital's rule to find the limit we have the limit as x approaches zero of square root of one plus x minus one all over x well we're not going to uh, check it graphically. We'll, we'll kind of skip that part. Let's plug 0 into the function. We have square root of 1 plus 0 minus 1 all over 0 which goes to square root of 1 minus 1 over 0. 1 minus 1 over 0 so we do indeed have 0 over 0. Now we're told that when that happens we could take the derivative of the top over the derivative of the bottom and that will be the same limit. So let's take the limit as x approaches 0 of the derivative which uh, let's change this to 1 plus x to the 1 half minus 1 over x and really we're just going to have the derivative of this but we'll, we'll write it all out. We have 1 half times 1 plus x to the negative 1 half minus 0 and then that's going to be all over 1. The derivative of x is just 1. That goes to the limit as x approaches 0 of just 1 over 2 square root of 1 plus x. Now we can plug 0 in without getting 0 over 0. We'll have 1 over 2 times square root of 1 plus 0 and that's just going to be one half. In theorem five we have L'Hopital's rule of stronger form. Suppose that f of a equals g of a and they both equal zero. That f and g are differentiable on the open interval i containing a and that the derivative of zero does not equal zero, or derivative of g does not equal zero on i if x does not equal a. Then the limit of f over g is equal to the limit as x approaches a of f prime over g prime which this is telling us that we can just keep taking the derivative actually if the latter limit exists. Applying a stronger form of L'Hopital's rule. Let's change our example here to limit as x approaches 0 of 1 plus x to the 1 half minus 1 minus 1 half x all over x squared. And Let's take the derivative. So we have the limit as x approaches 0 of the derivative which is 1 half x1 plus x to the negative 1 half I could have had x plus 1 I suppose minus 0 minus 1 half and that is all over 2x now if we plug in 0 we get 1 half times 1 to the negative 1 half minus 1 half all over 2 times 0 is 0 on the top we get one half minus one half that's zero and the bottom is zero there's another indeterminate form after we take the derivative well now we can take the derivative of again that's the stronger form of L'Hopital's rule we have negative one fourth one plus x to the negative three halves that's the derivative of this piece right here derivative of all this will be zero and then the derivative of the denominator will be two now let's plug in zero. We have negative one-fourth, one to the negative three-halves, and that's all over two. Well, one to any power is just one, 
So the answer is 1 negative 1 eighth. Using L'Hopital's rule with one-sided limits, evaluate the following limits using L'Hopital's rule. If I plug 0 into the top and the bottom, the sine of 0 is 0, and 0 squared is 0. Because we have an indeterminate form, we can use L'Hopital's rule. The derivative of the top is cosine of x, and the derivative of the bottom is 2x. When we plug 0 into the top, we get cosine of 0, and on the, in the bottom we have 0. Well, the cosine of 0 is not 0. The cosine of 0 is 1 over 0. And the limit as x approaches 0, if it's 1 over 0, this is infinity. If we plug 0 into the top, we get sine of 0. 0 into the bottom is 0 squared. And the sine of 0 is 0, so we get 0 over 0, which is an indeterminate form. Let's take the derivative. We have cosine of x over 2x. When we plug values to the left of 0 in, we have cosine of 0 over 2 times 0, but these values will be negative. So this will be negative. We have negative 1 over 0, which is negative infinity. On this one over here, we're looking at values to the right of 0, which are positive. So we can keep this positive down here. That's why we end up with positive infinity.